of search and destroy mastery of course a series where i play search and destroy live and yeah mainly just give you guys a breakdown of what's going on what's going through my mind all of that good stuff if you guys haven't seen the first episode of search and destroy mastery which is the introduction uh check it out so you guys kind of have an idea of what i'm doing just a quick recap uh, mainly what i'm trying to do right now is i'm level one all right this is my first game ever in black ops 3 of course, I am a little experienced with Search and Destroy and mainly some of the mechanics, all of that good stuff. But um, like I said on the introduction, this is gonna, this is a learning experience for me. You know, it's a brand new meta. There's specialists that I've never even seen before. I haven't even seen any Black Ops 3 videos. I have seen a couple of them, but I haven't seen a lot. Uh, but yeah, this is just a learning experience for me. And mainly I'm doing this series to prove to you guys as well that, you know, if... Just because you're bad at Search and Destroy at the beginning doesn't mean you're going to be bad at Search and Destroy in the end, alright? Search and Destroy is the best way to get better at Call of Duty. And yeah, that's why I'm making this series. Uh, let me see what's going on. Alright, so maybe... main. Okay, alright, I'm already seeing action. Mainly right here, what I'm going to do is pushing forward towards this area of the map. I see an enemy... I mean, I see a, a dude on the other side of the map. That's from my team. And yeah, right there, that was pretty much a mistake of mine. Uh, like I told you guys, you know, this is a learning experience for me. And yeah, I completely forgot that I didn't have a silencer. Of course, I do have a really, really sucky class. Now, I was thinking of, you know, just jumping into... Uh, just jumping into a public match. You know, jumping into a team death match. Getting some attachments. Leveling up a little bit. But I said, you know what? It's ten times better if I just jump into a search and destroy match. Level one, having nothing... And, you know, just pretty much overall see what I can do. Alright. I'm really, really glad that in uh, Black Ops 3 you get 500 uh, XP for... What's this thing called? Uh, 500 experience points per kill. Uh, I remember at first when Black Ops 3 came out, my friends told me that you only get 250. Which is also another reason why I didn't get Black Ops 3 when it came out. Alright, mainly I'm going to do the same strategy here that I did on the beta. It's, you know, just cross the bridge. Uh, obviously, you know, I'm going to inspect how things are across the bridge first. Alright, here we see a sniper on the other side. I don't want to deal with that shit. I have no idea how I did that, but whatever. Nothing here. Such a destroy is... It's a game mode of patience. I don't know any of these wall running tactics or any of that stuff, but of course, you know, it's a learning experience. I'm trying my best here. I'm going to lay down here, see if anybody comes by. I see an enemy on the other side, so obviously it's best if I stay around this area. I'm looking at this doorway, and of course, the dude with the bomb is nearby. I don't even know what he's doing outside. He should be actually planting the bomb. Okay. Okay. Alright, he gets killed right there. Mainly what I want to do is... I forgot that I don't even have Blast Suppressor. These guys might actually see me. But of course, search and destroy. High risk, high reward. See some dudes hiding up here. There's a sniper. I'm not going to challenge him. And mainly what I want to do is just try to flank him. Alright, the dude got the bomb. And of course, he died by the sniper. You know, right here, I'm actually in a sticky situation. I got 28 seconds left. You know, mainly what I'm going to try to do is... I actually ended up winning that round. I actually didn't even know how many of them were alive. Which is crazy because I know that Black Ops 3 tells you how many are alive at the top left of the screen, I see. But like I said, learning experience. Uh, mainly what I wanted to do there, you know, I couldn't challenge the sniper. So I was like, you know what, mainly I'm, I'm going to go around to see if I can actually get him off guard. And luckily for me, the dude was coming after me. But that's actually pretty good. All right, we're actually improving. I got two kills. It's my first game. I'm level one. I don't even have a silencer. I actually use this weapon a lot in the beta with the silencer. That's another thing. I don't know what are the OP weapons. What are the OK weapons? I don't know any of that stuff. See, this is a really good position for me right now because if I get shot by the sides, I can just go prone. And some dude was probably there right now. All right, I don't see any activity, so I'm going to move on forward. All right, mainly I'm going to cross this side. They are playing offensively. 
No idea where they're at, actually. They're probably gonna go on the B-bomb. Alright. See some red. And, of course, it's a sniper. That's the problem with search and destroy. Honestly, uh, you know, a huge problem with... Uh, th this problem was also in Advanced Warfare, I mean. That, uh, yeah, you know, people want to be cool. They want to be MLG. And they just want to go and search and destroy with a sniper. And, you know, mainly just get sick quick scopes and all that stuff. But of course, this series is just going to be me tryharding. I'm going to be using the best perks, the best weapons. Uh, I will be doing sniping. You know, later on, mainly when I'm more familiar with the maps and all that stuff. You know, this series, I'm going to be using everything. I'm going to be using pistols. I'm going to be using machine guns. I'm going to be using all types of weapons. Mainly for the, the point of just proving that if you know what you're doing in Search and Destroy, you can do really, really well. Okay. I see this guy. I'm going to run over him. And I'm probably going to die. Alright. I actually didn't die there. Okay, I have no idea how I didn't die there as well, because I'm really, really bad with this wall running. Like I said on the previous episode, man, you know, learning experience. Target. This guy was actually weak, and I was able to finish him off with that headshot. That's why, of course, I fired from the hip. I don't know how Search and Destroy works in, um, in Black Ops 3. I don't know if it's six rounds or only four rounds. Hopefully it's six rounds, because I really liked uh, Search and Destroy and Advanced Warfare because of that. Because it was six rounds, you were able to get more kills. And of course, more kills means more experience. I guess it's not uh, like that, though. I was only able to get to level two, which that gives me, of course, one unlocking perk thingy, I believe. And yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to use that unlocking perk to get uh, the Blast Suppressor. Because, of course, the EXO movement, it's got something that it's very, very important. In Black Ops 3. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Search and Destroy Mastery. I went 4 on 1. Not bad for my first game. And, of course, I didn't even have any of the good stuff. I'm not that confident with the game yet. Like I said on the introduction, man, it's just going to be a progress. By the time I get to the 10th episode, I'm going to be beasting. I'm going to be rushing. And I'm going to be getting mad kills. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to drop it a like. Feel free to subscribe to join the Sabaya Cartel, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.